If I can continue what I'm doing now, I'm gonna ride this as long as I can physically. I turned 50 in October, super cliche. Oh, I'm as healthy as I've been in years. But I honestly do, like, and I hope it comes across a little bit in my skateboard. I turned pro in 1990, so I guess 32 years if from the moment I turned pro till now. I don't know, I mean, I took a hiatus off, so I don't know if that counts as like, you don't count it. Um, I've pretty much ridden for everybody. <laughs> um, I've had quite a few sponsors from 90 until now, but for me, skating again and what I find and why I'm loving it so much is when I left, it was the end of my career as being a pro skateboarder and it wasn't like a very nice ending to it, you know? I'm not bitter at anybody and it was just kind of, nothing happened. I like didn't have an injury. I'd been there a long time. I was old for all my sponsors. Like my time was done, but I didn't realize like a huge part of me was missing and I was miserable. I didn't know why I was miserable. And then I ended up stopping drinking and about six, eight months into it, I just had excess energy. The excuses were gone. People would ask me if I, do you still skate? First thing I would say, it was like a knee-jerk reaction. Oh no, man, my body hurts too bad. My body's wrecked. And then once I had alcohol out of the system for a while and I was kind of more getting back to normal, I had all this energy and I was like, I'm not hurting. I'm like, dude, I need to go ride a skateboard. And I just started riding around and waking up in the morning and like not being too sore and then wanting to go back to the skate park. And I hadn't wanted to ride my skateboard in forever. And I just started going a little bit more, baby stepping it. And we had just gotten to St. Pete and I moved like less than a mile from the park that I skate. And I just realized like my whole like family life, my wife was happier, my son was happier, I was happier, I was in a better mood, I was like, and it just started making sense again. And I was smiling a lot more and laughing a lot more. And I just realized that I, that's what was missing. And it's amazing. And it, it, if you had asked me this two years ago, would I be at the barracks even going to skate? I'm like, fuck no, man, I'm, I did that, done that. You know, and now I'm like, yes, get me to the barracks. I wanna go fucking skate the barracks. Like, get me back to California. I feel like a kid again. And it's, I'm mad at myself that I like deprived myself of that for years and didn't realize I was doing it. Now that I've had a leave, from it for a while and didn't have sponsors when I got back into it. And I mean, I, there's so many amazing things about it that went on, but I, I would, the traveling and always just the consistency of being able to travel and being able to go somewhere. Now that I don't have that and I'm not traveling as much, if anything, looking back on it, I'm like, damn, dude, that would be the one thing I took for granted. I probably skate four times a week, like solid. First and foremost is my wife and my son. Like that's my world and that's first and then everything else is, comes behind. And it's just skateboarding, painting, and then I have a new, like I've never been a beach person. And now in St. Pete, the water's super warm, super mellow. I can take my son out and just lay in the water. And I'm, I, so I'm, I'm a huge beach day guy. I call beach days on a whim, like, Oh, oh, it's beach day, I gotta go, you know. Like, oh, it's gonna be hot today? Oh, we're going to the beach. So yeah, I've, that's becoming a new passion of mine, beach days. <laughs> Future for me is skateboarding and having fun on my board for as long as I can, as much as I can, and then just focus everything else on my wife and my kids. My kid, I don't have two. <laughs>